what's happening? Okay, everybody liked the long one yesterday, but we'll, do, we'll get back to them next week. Yeah, bro. We, they get them yeah. once a week, dude. We give them more than we ever have been. So, and it's a slow burn. We need more viewers. Start spreading the word. We'll do more time. Because I'm thinking of doing um, the history of fur trapping or something like that. Fuck yeah, dude. I like that. There's a movie. There's a show on Netflix called um, The Frontier. Uh huh. They show like the French, bro, going after um, fur trapping and the English. And the early, 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 early Americans. Yeah. They're not even called Americans. They're called uh, British Americans. Oh, they're not even called nothing. They're called settlers or colonists. That shit, dog. Bro, it's it's fuck. It, oh, is that with uh, Momoa? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. That's an old old one, right? Like a few years back? I think so, yeah. Yeah, dude. I've always wanted to watch that, but fucking Netflix fucked up my subscription with my sister. They're like, oh, you don't live at home, so you can't have it, dude. I was watching this. Um, you ever go in a rabbit hole, like you, you see somebody hating on somebody, but you never heard of them before? So you still, you still like, who is this person they're talking shit about? So Oh, well, I do it all I, the time. I went in a rabbit hole on this female comic. I want to say her name. Okay. I think she, she, I mean, all her comments right now, all, all her videos, the ones that she didn't, she didn't, um, I guess she, she didn't um, block comments mm -hmm. or did, I don't know what that app, delete comments. Uh huh. Well, there's a way to not, for people not to comment. Right. Yes. Yeah. yeah they take the comments down because some yeah. shit's going down on them. So, um, letting the videos that are still allowed for you to leave a comment is like a 350 comment full of hate. Like one guy, he has a, I don't know how he got in, but he got, it's one, all his, all his comments are just one letter um, spelling out cloud chaser. That's great. And one of them is this one. I'm going to read them to you, bro. The amount of hate. For, uh, this is where it ends. This is, a, one of, this is a comment from a comedian's friend. Great joke. Love the denim party. Funny fire. Team Ash Ovaries. Like, yes. <laughs> that felt loud. Obsessed. Also, your skin looks amazing. <laughs> And then happy face, happy face. And here comes the fans of the comic she dissed, right? Okay. Not even funny. Thumbs down, thumbs down. Just give up. C L O Cloud Chaser bro, all the way down. Oh my God. Probably dude. need to go practice more and watch some of the some of the greats. Not saying you can't be great, but you got the confidence down to talk, but you just need some substance in your truth. Hey from Chicago. I think I know who this is. Somebody clearly had a soundboard making the laughing song because this shit ain't funny. Oh, my no God. No way you're funny. Self-aware, hypochondriac. What's up with affectation? You put on a, every last word you say. Boring. The skit dry as fuck. This is terrible. How the hell is she a comic? Her jokes are cringe. These premises have been done so many times that you can't even argue parallel thinking. Local, whatever. I don't want to say that part. It gives her away. Ooh. Let's not forget this is the one she actually pinned. But, um, oh, my God, there's so, there's so many, bro. Like, how do, you, how do you go to bed, bro, like, knowing that all these are coming in? Well, I, I read our comments sometimes. <laughs> but there's like 400, bro. I read our comments all the time. And I'll tell you, when it's true, it hurts. When it's not true, it doesn't hurt. That's all I know. And then there's another one right here that says, still have the receipts. Damn. Boo, you came for the wrong one. Get off stage. Uh, Lying ass. Go flush yourself. Yeah, dude. Horrible show. Don't go. And this, you know what? I'm not going to say who that is, but you know, I'll, 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 she probably recovered already. Everything's going good. But I think about, you what, have to trudge through <laughs> that shit, bro. Once you are not liked anymore. Right. The people, the people who loved you, uh -huh. will find it real. They'll, they'll say something about you that they always wanted to say. You know yeah. what that joke he does? I always laughed at it, but I knew it wasn't his. Yeah, once the tide turns it made against me laugh. you, I've had I've had the tide turn against me a couple times in in my. Oh, you were hit by a typhoon in my past community because I said some shit that fucked me up. Then but one time I've never when had that anything like you. that. What's that? 
Near one time in Bush history where that happened. Um, I was very new, but I had like a little bit of power. Social media or just real people talking it, shit? It was kind of both. Like, um, damn. I I I called someone out for calling me out, and then um, the worst kind. And then when they called me out again, I went in to their DMs and threatened to like, oh, I'm a. <laughs> Just, just like I'm gonna go talk to this club and make sure you don't. And I didn't have any power, but I was just like, you know, ch- being a dick. That was like, well, I think that was a moment that I ch- that changed me though. That I was like, gee, because because even my friends were like, bro, you went too far, bro. Like, you really went too far on that, and you should not have said those things. And at first, I was mad at everybody, but then I realized, like, oh, I'm the common denominator here. I'm actually being an asshole. And then when I tried to apologize, they rubbed it in my face, but. You know, it's how you learn to laugh at yourself at some point, dude. You got to fucking come back from your, like, shitty mistakes. Me? Yeah. I did a show for the, um, some big show in Long Beach, bro. Like, Los, Los Tigres del Norte was there. Ooh. Brenton Wood. Um, Whoa, what show is this, man? That Car- sounds amazing. Carlici. It was a big ass show, Tropicalia in Long Beach, the first one ever, the first annual one, and I was I was offered the, the hosting job. I was supposed to host and then do like thirty minutes, forty five. The show ran off late, and then I'm doing like five or seven, right? Wow. Okay. And I got paid a lot, bro. I got paid a lot. My mom was there. Everybody was there. This is amazing, bro. People thought people hated on me on that show, like, but not but not enough because I didn't talk shit to the people that were talking shit. Right, like somebody posted that um, a photo of me with him, and he's like a vegan taco maker guy. Okay, and a bunch of like woke people, Latinos, right. fake woke. They're just angry. Right, they're not really woke. They're just angry. Just being shitty. They're not really woke, bro, because no. um. Because I don't understand the the wokeness, bro. When you both like, if you're woke, like the way they consider the Latino people or who are woke, right? They always go after all the Latinos. If you're woke, man, you go after the person who really oppressing you. Well, go after who fucking matters. Yeah, go after like who right matters. now in this in this thing, like, like where's yeah, where's this coming from? And that's the thing is, it's, it's always coming from the oppressor, like yeah. at this point, you know. And it's like. There's a lot of weird shit in that where I go, what are you fucking talking about, dude? Why are you even attacking these people right so, now? Go after them. There's so many. There was a, sh- a lot of people, bro. Los Tigres del Norte were going to perform. And I went up there to do like 15 minutes and then to introduce someone, right? Right. There was a, I was like trying to, there it is right there. That's how I was dressed. Okay. I was trying to get laughs. There was a white dude in the front and I said, um, Man, a white guy in the front. You guys checked the food for a for a weapon, man? <laughs> oh, right here, man. We're right. in danger. Everybody laugh. Yeah. Right? Everybody laugh. Then I did my joke about um my the like you gotta wear your own size, this girl, whatever, man. Life ref joke. You know, heard right. it heard it many times. Kills every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It killed that day. A little a lot of people, bro, talking, but still I gotta it was getting laughs. Then I did another joke, bro. So that uh, vegan taco maker guy, he posted a photo of me and him. He goes, oh, man, so great to see Felipe at Tropicalia. Such, he, he killed it. Amazing. A bunch of haters on, a, on that page, bro. Like comics or uh, just? Regular people. They didn't even go to my page to hate. They went on that page. Why? Um, Because of the jokes. Oh, he made fun of this white guy that was there, man. I thought this is supposed to be a, spa- a safe space for everybody. No, he made fun, he made fun of Latina women. He's fat shaming. He's a disgrace. Then I told him, I responded to one lady. I said, "What's wrong with you, man?" He goes, "I was paid to host." Goes, blah, blah, right. Blah. And goes, my, my mom was there. She goes, "She loved the comedy." What are you talking about? Right. She goes, "Oh, your mom was there. That's great. That's like saying, um, oh, I don't like black. How can you say I don't like black people? I have black friends." She took it to that level, bro. Yeah, dude. So I just stopped it right there. I said, you know what? You should give me a list of your favorite comedians right now then. You know? And then you should go, give me a list of your favorite comedians. Right. And I just left it at that. You know, who's your favorite comedian? 
Did she ever pose back? Hell no. Dog. No. Because so they, they don't like comedy. There, and they didn't continue with that, bro. And then, like, they were all just stupid. People were small, with no, no followers, just hating, dog. I don't, um, so, like, to hate me. just to hate. So, I, I feel like the woke agenda or whatever that shit is, is compared to, like, liberalism. And it's like, I feel like I'm a pretty liberal dude in my politics. Trying to stop you from nobody from and doing I, nothing. Bro, I don't give a fuck what your comedy is, bro. Like, that's the thing is, I don't give a fuck what, how You're you feel. You're fucking humpback whales. Bro, I'm, 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 if I'm a liberal person, I'm supposed to be open-minded. What'd you just say? I said, <laughs> when you say I'm a liberal guy, but I'm not that crazy. I said, you're, you're fucking humpback whales. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> not anymore. But um, I fucking those are the twenties. Um, but I just feel like you're supposed to be open minded and let people say what they want and talk yeah, what they want. And so yeah, that's like that's like saying like free speech, but they're against that speech. Yeah, I never understood uh, blocking someone's speech because to me, I'm smart enough, bro. If, like you say something that doesn't make sense to me, then I'm not gonna follow along with it. And if other people want to, like, if people like candidate a or this thing or whatever that's the beauty of being a human being and i feel like when you restrict people from what they want to do you're like restricting like that like sure okay don't fucking murder people and yeah nazis are bad fucking white supremacy blah 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 bro we all know that dude don't be a fucking asshole and if you're an asshole it's gonna affect you yeah man yeah it's gonna affect you that's it that's how i feel bro karma's a real thing let it happen people like and that's and if a guy wants to tell jokes about it, I love racial humor. I don't see anything wrong with it, bro. Like when people pick on each other, like that's what you go to a comedy for a show for. Have you heard of um, Chuck Bartell's karma joke? Which one's that? I probably have, dude. He's great. It was like you ever do something, something, but you don't want to help him because body is experiencing karma. <laughs> Wait, what? You ever like, see something, something? I don't know the whole joke, but just okay. know like, some of it. You ever see something, something happen to somebody, but you want to help him, but you feel like maybe he's experienced his own karma? Yeah, no, I haven't heard that, dude. That's pretty good. So I don't know how it goes. History for Fools podcast. We're here, right here, man. We're here, man. What's up, everybody? How's we're it going? Talking, we're, we're, last week, we talked about um, so History of the Circus with P.T. Barnum and Bailey. And before that, I think we spoke. To, we talked about the American Revolution. Yes. And before that, we talked about Chinese food. Yes. And before that, we spoke about guns. Yeah. And that was it. No, we did Napoleon too. We oh, yeah, had Napoleon versus. But there was Napoleon something between Napoleon and guns. Do you remember? No, it was the recap. Napoleon. And recap. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, dude, so. I loved this last series of History for Fools that we did. I mean, I loved doing the other ones, but this one, I felt a lot of it was related to each other. It's funny, man. Like people, people view of circus has changed, man. Like, like when I was a kid, I was excited, but I don't, I don't think my my son was are excited about the zoo. They don't really care about the no, zoo. bro. I took my kid to the zoo, and he was like, "Can we go now?" Like I like, yeah, dude. You can't beat video games. It's like it's like you're, you're we're more like aware of the where our eyes are open and like every year it, we see more of the world and we see more of what the world really is. Right. Like when you go to a carnival, like when a carnival comes to town, yes, you don't really get excited because you know there's gonna be a lot of dirty motherfuckers working that carnival. Well, you know it's a scam. The whole thing's a fucking scam. At this Especially point. when I saw uh, Joe Dirt, bro. That little, when he was throwing that coder on those dishes and he was yeah. putting Windex to make them slippery. Yeah, yeah, I remember that, dude. I was like, I, but I remember my mom be, I being a kid and wanting to do that shit. And my mom would be like, the guy would be like, come here, kid, let me throw throw a free one. And my mom would be like, don't fall for that scam. That was a moneymaker huh, for the carnival, huh? Yeah, dude. How about the one where you pay $2 and um, you just throw the dart at something to give you that poster? Like, you're just paying for the poster. Bro, you paid... One dollar and seventy five cents more for that poster. Yeah, because they they were buying they bought the poster what for a quarter or did they print yeah. it for free? Yeah, it's like a quarter back there. It was like in the nineties, I think they I had. I remember those. Bro, I threw my dart and I wanted the I wanted the Duke Daisy Duke and I got it. Oh bro, you wanna know something I did that you threw just, a dart at you. This just triggered like one of those like cringy memories. So I was like 11 or 12 when I did that and I won a bunch of them and one of them was like a hot chick with a lollipop in her mouth 
Like or the, like an ice, ice, ice cream? Bro, and then, she, did she have little Chinese shorts and a little white top and skates? No, she was in a pool. In a pool. And she had a uh, like a rock pop rock. Like, what's that big rocket? Like the, the, the orange and red? Uh, the what? Crimsicle. Yeah, like one of those. Big stick. And it said, practice makes perfect, right? And another one was like Metallica. And the other one was like Pantera. And I walked over to my aunt, and I'm all, look at these ones. And I'm all, ha ha, not knowing what practice makes perfect meant, bro. I went up to my aunt, was like, this one, and, and I laughed, and she pretended to laugh. And then I remember like three years later being in like, now and like a kid understands yeah. what blowjobs were. And like seeing that shit on my wall and like going, oh my God, dude, I'm such a fucking asshole, dude. Like, my aunt probably never looked at me the same after that, dude. Did you know what a blowjob was and that stuff? No, right? I didn't know what a blowjob was, Neither dude. me, bro. I was in seventh grade, and I guess we were doing our work, and this girl that was always done fast, she was always finished with her work fast. I guess she, she got the assignments to her brain faster than everyone else. But I was done, too, but I just wanted not to... I, I, whenever I was done, I didn't say nothing, bro. I could just chill. Right. So... This girl. That's so funny, dude. And she said. I'm um, thinking so much smarter. She said, Miss such and so. I've got the teacher's name. I'm done. What should I do now? And then um, the dude sitting next to me said, you gave everybody a headache. <laughs> everybody died. Everybody huh? died, bro. <laughs> I was in seventh grade, bro. <laughs> Everybody died. The teacher got upset. <laughs> I got upset because I didn't know what head was. <laughs> That's Dog. fucking so funny. Seventh dude. grade, this kid knew that. I would have died, bro. I could. I wish I died. But you didn't know what he was I, talking I didn't know. about. Everyone yeah. else left for me. Like eighth and ninth grade, I would have died. Seventh grade, I would have been all, what the fuck? I dude? said, what the fuck? But it was funny, dude. He said, um, because she went like this, um, uh, I'm done, I'm done with my like, work. What should I do now, Miss um, a new hoe? And the guy next to me said, <laughs> "You give everybody head." Dude. <laughs> uh, bro. But damn, dog, and that girl was cute too. You know, everybody she was like everybody's crushing, but I can't believe that dude just said, "You give everybody head." That dude. shit's hilarious, dog. That dude name was Hector, bro. That fool had long hair. That's fucking like funny. a stoner in a leather jacket, and he was always like, um, "Man, he never did no homework, dog." Like by the time, man, he he would, he would show up to class every two every for every month. Eh? That's fucking. Uh, oh, we had a kid like that, dude. <laughs> This is George Munoz. Did she, though? Bro, he would come like once a month, dude. He did a history for fools <laughs> right now. Hector, man, if you're listening right now, yeah. I mean, you probably aren't, man, because you're a knucklehead. Oh, that's, damn, man, you made everybody laugh but me. That's funny, dude. This dude used to come in, fool, with like, like, like with a leather jacket, long hair, Mexican dude. Um, he had a big comb to comb his hair further back. And he was always like, man, he was like a party animal already, seventh grade. <laughs> he give everybody head. Yeah, eh? man. Yeah. But do you remember, huh? Yeah, dude. Dude, I died, Butch. I died. I've I don't know what was going like on. I've had moments like that in class where someone said something funny, And she probably dude. didn't know either because she's a young girl. We were all young oh, kids. Oh, my God, bro. There's so you, know, he was, you know that guy, Hector. I remember hearing head the first time and going, what the fuck are you talking about? History for full history of head. History of head, dog. We should do that one time, bro. Like I remember that we we, we didn't we didn't do history of head, but we did talk about that um the douche rag or the yeah the douche. I think we did do that. We should we thought about doing the history of like sex toys or sex or something like that. Yeah, sex toys would be good. Sex toys would be good because there's some because when we talked about it for a minute, I think I looked <laughs> it up for a couple hours and there was some gnarly shit in there, dude. I, I think that I, if you guys want to comment on anything in the comments, like about what we're talking about, people have a lot of great suggestions, but some of them, man, are like, that's a huge, vast, like, thing. And I don't know if it's as interesting uh, dude, as it uh, is to you, but if you hear what we're talking about and you guys want to suggest something, like, throw it down, dude. What's up, everyone? History for Fools, Bush Escobar. 
Get at, find him at uh, where at, bro? Your Instagram? And Instagram, at Butch Escobar. Any questions, suggestions? Also, Please. um, Felipe Espar is a comedian. Felipeesworld.com slash tour for all the tour dates. You still have your vegan show? We are on pause right now because we're trying to figure out new dates and stuff right. and how to quarterback it and get more people in there because it sold out twice in a row. All right. So, th- hey, shout out to Butch McLeod, bro. Oh, my God, bro. Hey, dude, you're like my second dad, bro. I swear to God, that dude takes good care of me. I love that guy, man. Shout out to him. Thanks for that jacket, too, homie. It's going to come in handy in those winter East Coast runs, dude. Also, um, if you're listening to the this History for Fools podcast right now, please comment, all you 200 listeners right now. Comment, leave a <laughs> message, man. Hey, man, I, I hate the podcast. Right. I love the History for Fools podcast. More History for Fools, please. And shout out to that mailman that listened to the podcast. Hell yeah. What's up? U.S. Postal Service. Yeah, man. Anybody that's catching up on the podcast, welcome. Welcome to yeah. the History for Fools. You're, not, you, you're never too late to learn more History for Fools. Yeah, man. But that guy was crazy, bro. Bro, that's. Just, I, I, I could come up. She didn't know what we're talking about. We had a couple guys like that, but we had a dude that did that that was like that, bro. Yeah, dude. That's funny, man, because, like, I didn't really think about it when I was a kid, like, what that was. I'll, and I'll tell you, I remember a uh, homie when I was, like, in the second or third grade told me that if a girl uh, swallows you, then uh, she's going to have a baby. And that's how I thought babies were made to, like, the fucking seventh or eighth grade. <laughs> like, I didn't know, bro. Like, I... I was like, that sounds heinous, too. Bro, I just remember something real nasty. Uh, there was this big, big black dude in my neighborhood, right. and he was always on PCP. Yeah. And my brother Angel said that he was driving with my mom <laughs> to um, elementary school. Right. Because my mom would drop him off in the morning, and a school bus would pick that fool up and take him to Sierra Park Elementary in El Sereno. Right. Because he went to a, a magnet school. So he said that he looked out the side of the window, and my mom was trying not to look. But that dude, Mickey, he was running butt naked. Oh, my God. On PCP, bro. Okay. Chilote hanging out and everything. Holy bro. shit. Flashlight. Police flashlight, dude. So um, that dude. Um, so this is not a new thing in L.A. then? No. That dude one time, bro, he was boxing at the Holland Bank gym, and he, and he was like shadow boxing, and he broke the glass, bro. And he said, because reflexes. What? Reflexes. Get the fuck out of yeah. here, bro. And he played football for Roosevelt High School back in the early 80s. Late so 70s. he went to school but did PCP? You know, he did PCP afterwards. Afterwards. Like, but this guy will come out of prison in his prison uniform, bro. Right. The the blue jeans, the the leather boots. You know what I'm talking about? The yeah, leather yeah. boots. And the the prison blue T shirt, yeah, with the like pockets in the front, yeah. And he'll be he'll be buff, bro, like like Tuki Williams, you know, that the first crib, Tuki Williams. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll, yeah. Be, he'll be buff, bro, with his afro, dog, with his afro, and um, he'll wear the same clothes like that, bro. And then he starts smoking crack, and all those clothes in a month, two months, are loose. Right. Same clothes. You don't take them off. Oh, because he's like losing weight and just doing drugs. Doing drugs. Bro. Hardcore So drugs. you watch him. Like, you know this guy's in your neighborhood, so you watch him like dissolve into just shit. I, watch, I call him the Incredible Shrinking Man. Fuck, dog. So before that, my friend, I knew a, there was this crazy ass fool named Chris. Chris. He used to hang out with me, bro. I was like, I was like in seventh grade. He was in fifth grade, probably. Or, or, um, or fourth grade. Okay. He was like, I was in seventh grade. He was in fourth grade. Okay. So I'm like three years older, right? So him and I, are, we went to the Holland Bank gym, and um, we saw Mickey. He was practicing boxing. So him and I bought a, a burrito at Allen B's, bean and cheese. Ooh, I love that place. So we went to uh, the boxing gym, and we started like shadow boxing and jump roping. They, they let you. So Mickey was right there, bro, with his boxers on. And he was talking to us. And he was talking. To, we're, he was. Ta- we're asking about sexual questions. How do you know if a girl has a disease? Okay. And then I fool said, "Man, you gotta something about putting your finger in some chili pepper or something, and then going like this up. Yeah. And if she jumps, she has, she has a disease. Uh, bro, you. <laughs> and then he put his dick out, dog. Right? He put his dick no, out. No, dude. 
He, he pulled his dick out? He pulled his dick out. Oh, there's always that hold, guy. And he was holding it. And he was like, nah, man, but if you jam it this way and they jump, they have diseases. No! They were talking about, man, when you were in prison, did you have, he was talking about he had sex with his maricones, you know? <laughs> the old maricones. <laughs> Ah, dude. So yeah, he was telling me he was having sex with fools in prison, bro. Dude, ah, uh, ah, uh, um. And that, that fool died. They, they shot him with a shotgun. Holy shit, dude! But this guy, one time, the people that I used to hang around with, this gang, we went to go play um, football with another neighborhood in a neighborhood called Clara Street. If you could look up Clara Street, there's a big. There's no, you know those neighborhoods. That the, the the neighborhood is, your neighborhood is either cut by a train track, right, or it's cut by a highway, yep, or it's cut by a, uh, by those electrical wires. Yeah, okay. You know the electrical wires? Yeah. They gotta they gotta set them up somewhere. Right. And sometimes they're set up in the middle of the neighborhood. I've seen that. Right, and, and then, I, it makes me wonder. And then the streets going back and forth. Right. There's like one, there's like, or sometimes east. they'll go down like a pathway between all the houses. Yes, and that's always a gardening place. Yeah, yes. They so, have, we, yeah, we have something similar in the bay. But so, in this far. neighborhood called Clara Street, they have one in the middle of the street. Okay. Going all the way to Southgate, and right there, fools play football. Okay. So, we played these guys' football there. Right. But they took that crazy guy, Mickey's, Mickey, with them oh, on no. our team, bro, like a. Like uh, on like your a, team, yeah, we took him for okay, our well, team. Okay, that's a that, I'd rather have my team. Bro, we, we took him our team, bro. Like a fucking um, uh, I don't know what they call it, bro. When you take a person and nobody knows, but they know how to play, but know how to play. Right. He was a secret weapon, bro. So they were giving that fool crack on the way there. <laughs> I, he was smoking crack on the way to the to the park. Yeah, and I and then um, my, they somebody. Gave me a soda. Okay. And there was passing around, but it had LSD. I didn't even know. They put like a bunch of tabs in oh, there. Oh, no. So I didn't know, man. Were you tripping? I didn't. Yeah, bro. Fuck. When they told me, I was tripping. I, I don't like that. At the end of the answer. night, I was tripping so hard that one of the little homies, he was like 13 or 14, he grabbed me. He goes, come here, bad man. And then he, he just walked me like a, like a little person walking a big dude. Right. And he fucking stand right here. He goes, and he fucking put me in front of somebody's house with a bunch of Christmas lights. And I stood in front of their house for like 20 minutes. Hell yeah, you did, So they bro. told me to leave, bro. Fuck no, that was... Sir, you better skunk. Stop standing in front of our porch. Oh, were they tripping? Yeah, the neighbors. Ah, dude, that's right. Yeah. Stand, imagine, bro, there's some fat fool just standing in front of your house. Oh, no. Were you, dude, at this point, Peacefully. did you know you were on acid? Or were you like, what By the fuck By this time I happening? knew, bro. Is this your first time doing acid? Or yeah, no? bro. Yes? Yes, no I didn't want to. Your first time first doing time. acid was accidental acid. Yeah. That's the worst, dude. I've had accidental acid, I, and, I've, and I've done acid before that, and I don't like accidental. So, dude, holy it, shit. It starts hitting me first at that football game, right? Right. Um, you must I, have done tons, I was supposed to rush this one guy, and I run to him, and he, 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 knocked, me, he knocked me down, bro. He was like a wall. He just knew how to play football. He was just he, I, man. If I knew if I knew how to play, I would have dusted him. Right. But he was a little dude that knew how to play. And he was strong. But fucked him, bro. I got I got him good later on. That fool was a court, trying to be a quarterback too, right? Right. So um, that guy that Mickey, he was not all into. It. He was like he was zonked out too, bro. He must have ate some acid, drank some acid too. But he was also on crack. So um, when we're in the huddle. They give him a little, a, a little, a little, a little hit, bro. A little hit. He goes, "Come on, man." He goes, "Give me a little <laughs> hit, man." Give me a little hit, man. Bro, this guy's got an asterisk said, under your name. So we give, they give him that little full hit. Right. So he, he, he like this. All right, man. <laughs> Batman, what's up? <laughs> and I said, "Listen, man. That fucking quarterback. Pretend that he has your piece of crack, and he don't want to <laughs> give it to you, bro. He don't want to give it to you." All right, that's your motivation. This is so classic. And dude. He, he was like a coach, like, yeah. like I was like a coach. You gotta pretend, right? That, that guy, right, yeah, right. Yeah. He's holding your pipe. He don't want to give it to you. He's digging. He's digging all the crack out of it. He's sucking up all the crap. Right. It. Yeah. And he goes, "All right, I see, I see, bro." When they said hike, 
This motherfucker, no lie, dog. He stepped on one of the guys' back and took a dive at that <laughs> dude. He took a dive at the quarterback that, that knocked me out. Right. And, and just went straight for his throat. Wow, bro. dude. His throat. And knocked that fool down, bro, and started, like, strangling him. Holy shit, dude. He's tripping, dude. Yeah, and he fumbled. But the guy still hold on to the ball, bro. Oh, uh, he didn't get a fumble. Yeah, man. He got the tackle, though. Good for him. Holy shit, dude. I, I love shit like that, dude. We used to have, like, football games like that. But that that's... I never got anybody... Seen anybody do crack like that. They used to call that fool Dragon. That's fucking because he smoked so much. Yeah, because one time I was at the liquor store. He was like, once he would, he, he would, get, man, he would get people would get he would get loaded, bro. Like, once they, you know the, the liquor store, you know when they close the gate, they pull the gate close. Right. Well, this fool was standing by the gate on the outside of the gate, not the inside of the gate, the outside of the gate. But he was holding on to the gate, and he was waiting for his friends to come out, and then. Um, the Asian guy, he closed the gate and he heard the gate locked. And the fool had started, he started shaking the gate, talking about, let me out. <laughs> he locked him in? No, he was outside oh, the gate. Oh, he was outside. But he's all fucked he's up. He's all fucking with him, dude. But he's all fucked up. Was he up. fucking with him or no, did he think he was, he was locked fu- up? No, he was locked up. Oh, he thought he was trapped on the other side. Yeah, we were, we were like this, shaking it. Oh, my God. And then dude. tap him. We go, man, just turn around. You'll be free. That's crazy. And then he turned around. He go, oh, thank you, Batman. I thought I was. I, th- I thought that motherfucking Korea guy locked me in one of those Korean cages. That's fucking hilarious, dude. Did you really Korea lose? Rambo hey, cages. you really lose your mind like that, bro? Like you really do. Well, the reason they call that fool Dragon because this guy that's he's doing time two right now. He gave that fool. Um, a, he goes, man. He goes, man. He wanted crack, bro. So that fool put a whole twenty inside his pipe. He just said, "Here, man." Where's your pipe at? And he just shoves it in there, bro, like this. Like a big old 20 rock in there. <laughs> like, fill up the whole hole. Like, Holy like, fuck. Like that. Right. And he goes, I want you to smoke that shit right now in one hit. Oh, uh, no. And he smoked it, bro. And what happened? He t- he held his breath all the way in and it went. And nothing. Like, it was nothing. Bro, he was, he was ready to break into cars. Fuck yeah, he was, dude. He felt good. And that's what they call him Dragon. Oh, bro. I used to have a buddy like that, dude. But it's crazy, bro, huh? Yeah. Talk, put his penis out. Bro, so that that shit is, that's where I want to go back to for a moment with that one. Because it's like, I used to have a dude who said the same. There's always a dude in the neighborhood that exposes himself. Yeah. Like, we used to have. Uh, Last you say it's closed up for no reason. We had Black Bill. And um, and I, I was not there for this, dude. And I won't say any names, but like. He took a homie back. Look, Bill is this black dude who had uh, he had dreadlocks, and his name was and we li- he was Black Bill. I, I didn't make it up, bro. Like that was what we called him, and like uh, he uh, he took a homie back. He would always try to hang out with like this other homie across the street who was like a little guy, and it was my friend's little brother. We had to be like, "Hey, bro, you creeping us out?" But one time, one of our friends said that he went back there, and he goes, "Hey, there's a girl in this tent giving blowjobs." And then he said that uh, he went back there and was getting a blowjob. He told another homie, and then it got out that, like, uh, it was actually, like, he looked down and it was like Bill. And I was like, that's fucking dirty, bro. Because Bill had long hair, bro. He looked like, and like, uh, but I remember someone told me that if you stick your finger in your ear and then stick it in her and it bubbles up. To me though, chili, chili's gonna burn. Bro. I heard that one too, bro. But maybe <laughs> the wax was silly though. It it it, it just bubbled up. It ridiculous. bubbles, bro. Like it's a, like a natural test strip or something, bro. But the chili is crazy because like that, bro. You you're gonna fu- that's gonna make anybody fucking scream, dog. Then when you said the walking down the street naked, bro. Uh, I was in downtown two weeks ago. And I went to go get pick up those um, those grinders from the homie, and I was in one of those streets like on Skid Row, and there was this huge lady, bro, black lady, and she was buck naked in the middle of the street, and she was dancing erotically, you know, like she was doing like throwing her legs up in the air, yeah. and there was cars going by, bro, and I was like, holy shit, dude, like, 
fucking welcome to LA, bitch. Dude, this is fucking nuts. And then you tell that story, and I'm like, oh, that shit hasn't changed then. There's still naked people running around in the streets. Naked people, bro. Because there's no zoo to pick them up. There's no zoo to pick them up. Bro, um, Ringling Brothers coming back with no animals. Okay. Like when you stop to look at the, when we're going through the, the research of all the, the circuses, man, those animals will look, those elephants, they look, they look sad, huh? Even though people say, nah, they're not sad. Bro, they they're... ain't happy. I'm sorry, bro. There were so many books that we read that where they were like, at the time, they took as good a care as you could have had. No, Nobody, bro. They, the, those the animals did not look happy, dude. And I don't know if we talked about it on the podcast last time, but didn't... I know we said it either in the green room or out here where you said that they wiped out a whole like group of elephants. for A one. whole senior elephant to get that little baby elephant. No animal wants to be fucking trapped. I'm sorry, dude. Like, no animal... I'm not a, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not like some, like, you know, like person who's super sympathetic about things, but I'm sorry, dude. That's, you can't, and especially with animals for no reason, like cap, captive like that. Also, think about also like on that, on that one Ringling Brothers poster, those seals, you know, they didn't have enough water to keep them cool. They're dragging those seals on a train across the country, bro. No water, probably, huh? Like, with shitty, gr- dirty water, dude. Those things are, like... Sp- they ain't swimming, huh? That's so fucking awful, dude. And then that animal, dog, those seals, they would train them to do a... Like... I wonder if you could find... Um, like how many sh- what it looked like, how, they, they, how they transported those things. I'm really interested to see how they transported seals now. Did you did you see that book I sent you? That little short book about um the the tar ship. The tar ship. Whoa, the, dude, that was crazy. And, and but those animals actually all died, huh? Except for two horses. Yeah. That that's got to they swam to land. Tell them to, what book was what, what the name of that book? It's called the tar the royal tar ship. The royal tar ship is a muse, it's a circus boat. Right. They held animals that was going from Baltimore you know, to Bombatin. Right. And uh, they were going on a show, and they they were very ne- negligent, huh? Right. They were very, well. They were like super negligent. There was so they hit a series of storms where they had to like pull over, basically. Like in those days, man, when you were on a ship, you couldn't just cut through storms because you were going on. Um, and this, oh no, this was a steam wheel boat. So it definitely couldn't push through storms. It, it had to push through probably, like these things are more made for channels. So it kept having to pull over and pull over. And it got to one island called Fox Island and tried to, uh, what's called moor or anchor. And the storm was so strong that it broke free from the anchors. They had boilers that were trying to keep it. That's a children's book, by the way, on the right. It's all fake. Um, about, no, that's a real children's book about yeah. what happened. I looked up that as well, and that's kind of it's kind of weird to me to. to but on the children book, the book, all the animals survive. Oh, is that what happens? Yeah, I didn't see that. I just was, I just saw the cover. But anyway, yeah. So like, they were keeping the boilers on to keep everybody warm, and the water got low in the boilers, and that's where the negligence happened. And then so uh, the boilers caught fire somewhere in the galley, and then the ship started to burn up, and it had it had de-anchored itself. So it has no anchors, basically, and it's just bobbing around in the waters off the coast of this island and pretty far off enough where um, nobody could swim back. There was uh, one they dude, you know what fucked up what they fucked up too? they removed the um, what are those those boats, the lifeboats? They removed their lifeboats to uh, to to accommodate for the animals. Damn. So they only had two lifeboats for like, I don't know how many people, but it was like, I think it was like a couple hundred people. Um, And then the first lifeboat had only 15 guys that just jumped in it and and ran with it. And then a few women and children in the second one. And then everybody else died and the animals died except for two horses. They found, there's a guy who found the elephant's skull on the ocean, on the on the beach and so there's oh that's the other thing is there's treasure there's like hella gold on that boat because they were transporting as well crazy huh yeah dude that shit was crazy 
I was thinking about um all those all those games, bro. Like the carnival games, they were all ripoffs. And I, and, I, and I think about um the poster ones because it, it was like there's no way you could lose on that poster game, huh? Because you're basically buying a poster and you're gonna pick it up with a dart. It's the only. It's like a. It's like a trick because it's like, oh, see, it's not rigged. And then you go to other places, and then they're throwing that the dime, the dime on the on the glass, right? Or the balloon, the fucking um, the gun, the water gun with the balloon. Oh my god, bro! What a fucking ripoff! Really, dude. but you're playing against somebody. Yeah, the one person wins, but everybody, yeah. but like, think about how many people are paying yeah. for that one little prize, and then they give you like a little thing, and then you could trade two or three of those in for a bigger thing. How about the basketball, bro, with the hoop, but the basketball made it, it's in an oval shape. It has to go perfect in the Yes, middle. dude. They had that at Great America in Santa Clara when I was a kid, and it was a ripoff, dude. It was That shit sucks, dude. Um, I I never like got to do that because my mom always stopped me, but did you ever go to freak shows? Yeah. I did a little bit of the research on freak I shows. I went to a... Fr- um, by the way, um, if you're, li- if you're watch- listening, this is a recap of... Of the history for fools, we're just talk, trying to recap some of the stuff from the circuit we didn't talk about. But um, freak shows was an, was the, was like an attraction that you will see before you got into the actual circus. Right, the freak it's what, show it's was what attracted not, people to the circus. Was not part of the circus. It was like, um, hey, come on down. We have the lady, the octopus lady. Yeah, you had what's called a barker standing out front. A barker. Going, Come one, come on. Was Tiny Tim part of the free show or the actual circus? He show? was part of the circus. The, the uh, you know, and, and that was the thing is that some of them were in both, but like like uh, the bearded lady would would be maybe a juggler or a but flame. A, but a freak show. But she'd be on the freak show at the beginning. Okay. So you go in, and but some of them are like the torso man. You know, would be like freak show. would be just the freak show. Um, or he might sing. There was like one. Um, there was one guy. He was like a torso man um, that would sing. And um, then they had like like there's like this one um, that's really famous is Schlitzy. I think it's Surdy. Look up Schlitzy. It's the it's like um, that guy with the big head and the little ponytail, and they dress him up like a girl. Um, oh, he was and he was a pinhead. Yeah, the pinhead. The pinhead. That's fucked up, huh? So his name was Slitchy, Schlitzy Surties. And, oh, yeah. um, and I, like, this is the thing, man, is like, I, I kind of like this, uh, reading about this because this all ended because of awareness of like, uh, physical diseases and stuff. But there's still freak shows out there. There's one in Vegas. Or oh, New York. And when I was in Coney Island, there was one in New York. Um, but Schlitzy, it was had microcephaly, and actually Schlitzy was one of the more popular like um, members of the Freak Show. Like, like Schlitzy, people really like Schlitzy, and Schlitzy was in a movie called Freak Show as well. Um, There's an American Horror Story, American Horror Story on FX or AMC. I don't know which one it is. Right. At uh, huh? FX. FX. It's called American History, American Horror Story on uh, Freak Show. Okay. And on that one, some of the freak show people, it, it, it's a lot of freak shows on that one. They got the guy with the little hand, and he's actually a freak show in New York, in, in fucking. Um, oh, so they that, used that the... guy right there. He's actually a freak show person in in um in New York at the at the Coney Island, and that little girl right there, the little person, she was a freak show artist at the Venice Beach. What season is that? Of that, bro. In that freak show, bro, in, in the show, um, they um they took, man, it's fucked up. Spoiler alert, but then, it's fine. I don't watch that, that little show. the little person right there. You saw she's like two feet tall, maybe right, two feet or less. In the freak show, they want to make more money, so that they they took her out, they killed her, they poisoned her, and they put a little jar, and they were like a pre. They say it was a preemie. Oh Jesus. It's fucked. Well, there's up, dog. um, but but um, I I read. It, it, tell me if I'm wrong. Okay. That um, P. T. Barnum would buy um, or some people would sell him um, miscarriages from African Americans and or or uh, or babies that were born dead, and he'll buy them and put them in jars. Yes. Like, exhibition. Yeah, and put them on exhibition. And say they and have have like a wild name for them. Right. Like, put them in formaldehyde in a jar. And then, but that's the museum or the actual the That was in show? the Oddities Museum. 
that wasn't on the actual freak show like that actually the 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 circus and the freak show came like way later in his life i'm really interested in the house of oddities because there was like a menagerie which is pretty much a zoo in there there's like all kinds of different floors and levels of shit dude I, i'm i wonder what it looked like one of the things they had there was julie pastrano which is a lady from mexico uh-huh and his, her nickname was the bear woman. The bear woman. The bear woman, or uh, and she had like, and she had what's called hypertrichosis terminalis, which what is what is that, bro? It's basically you grow hair all over your all over she your had face. She's a wolf woman. So she was the wolf woman, but if, if, but because she had like lower jowls, her facial features were fucked up too. So her name is Julia Pastrano. Yeah, that lady. <clears throat> um, so she's like a bearded lady. Yeah, but she also had like fucked up jowls and lowered ears, and so she kind of looked more like um like an ape than she did anything else. So she was also like dubbed the monkey woman. She was not she probably was not allowed to go in public because I mean, people want want to see her. Uh, she, they want to charge to see her, huh? Yeah, she probably she probably wasn't allowed. She was like pretty much enslaved by P.T. Barnum, and then this is the worst, and this is kind of what like um brought a, one of the things because she. Her life was spent trying to bring awareness to, um, to people with like these diseases and stuff. Um, like after she died, he fucking stuffed her, and she had a kid before she died. She actually, this lady got laid, bro, and fucking had a baby, and fucking you're dude, you'd be surprised how many of these people were able to have kids. There's a, but anyway, she had a baby. When she died, the baby died, and they stuffed her, and the baby also had the same disease. So they stuffed her and the child and put him up for like um, observation, and then after Damn. a while he fucking sold them. And I think it was let's see, in only not that long ago, like in the nineties, uh, Mexico finally was able to recover her, because Mexico for a long time was like don't fuck like from like the time that they did it was like don't fucking display a human being. You know, and so um, they finally got her back, like in the nine oh twenty, not even the nineties, twenty thirteen. Her Damn. remains were returned to Mexico. That's crazy. Yeah, there's also this dude, bro. This guy, man, um, Prince Randian. Look up Prince. This one's amazing to me because this guy had a disease called Tetra Amelia. And, uh, Tetramelia. Yeah, Randian, R A N D I O N. Yes. No hands? No hands and no feet. A little worm. And man. he was called, yes, the snake man, human caterpillar. Um, Poor guy. He didn't have feeding, cleaning. No, he. that's the thing, bro, is this guy would riot, roll and light his own cigarettes, right? Shave with straight razors. He was, dude, not only, and he had like three, he learned, he knew like English, German, French would talk to people in those languages during the circus. And then at the same time, bro, he was married to a woman who had the same affliction, the exact, no arms, no legs. And they had three kids together. Is that, that those kids not having arms? Yes, all the kids ended up being, having normal body features. Um, but dude, to me- So that fool, oh, that had no legs, it's wow. Dude, I'm I'm really curious as to how they had babies, dog. So he did a lot and for, for someone with no limbs. Right. Do you, I wonder if he fucked on his own or if he had someone help him fuck. That's really like where my mind goes on this. this. The original freak show right here. That's the name of the movie. Yeah. Yeah, and he was in that movie as well. Yeah, that guy was the most interesting to me out of all of them. The most like dark story out of all the like uh, freak show people I read was The Lobster Boy. Dude, The Lobster Boy was fucking crazy. A guy named Grady Styles, S T I L E S. Um, and he had a, what was called electrodactyly, electro, ecto, I, I think it was a, el, electrodactylial. I can't pronounce it. Um, his, he was a son of a guy who had the same condition and this guy also, bro, got laid, dude. But the normal chick, he had babies. And this, How did he do it though? And this fucking disease is, a lobster boy. is super hereditary. Like, bro, like, it, okay, I feel like now there's girls could out he there walk? that want to fucking do like this, but to... Could he walk? Yeah, he could do it. I don't know. I used to, I think he was in a wheelchair. But the interesting story about this guy, bro, was that, one, he committed murder. He killed his uh, first son-in-law. 
and was convicted and tried and convicted, sentenced to 15 years, but the sentence was suspended because there was no prison that could house a guy with that disability. So he ended up going free. Are you in a loft of trap? Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, dude. Um, and he also was ended up murdered by his ex-wife and son-in-law, like, I don't know, like a decade later or something. Like, in, wait a minute. I have it right here. Um, no, way later than... He was treated bad. Huh? He never made no money, huh? Um, he made good money. He was rich. He was a rich man by the time he died. He died in 1992. He was murdered by his ex-wife and son-in-law. And in 1978, he was he was convicted uh, for that murder and never imprisoned for it. That shit to me... Bro, the fact that... The, I, I, Okay, yeah, that guy killed somebody and the other lady was a pillar for fucking, like, people with diseases. I'm just as surprised these people are getting laid, dude. Like, I spent most of my 20s not getting laid. And then these motherfuckers... You have a whole set of, a whole set of hands. And I got a whole set of hands, bro, and not a full face of hair, dude. It is crazy, dude. Um, yeah, there was some... There's Emily Harper was another one. I, there's not much information on her, but it's the camel girl. And I thought yeah, this, girl. I thought this was fake when I first saw this uh, a picture of this person, but this is actually a real person. Not much known is uh, is known about her. Um, just that she came around in the late eighteen hundreds, but I mean, just the fact that something like this existed. Incredible, dude! Incredible. Look at that, dude. Even if you saw something like that right now, I don't think it. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be. I'm not a mean person. She wasn't off force. Yeah, that's how. That's the only way she could get around. She had babies, huh? Probably, bro. There wasn't a lot. What was her name? Her. Emily Harper. And she was part of the freak show for Pitty Barnum. Yep. Wow. Yeah, dude, the freak show is crazy, and those are just a lot of them that I like. I found and highlighted. He had the Elephant Man for a while, which was crazy. The Elephant Man, the real was, Elephant Man, the one with Robin Williams. Yes, dude, the, the that's a real. I am not an animal. Um, that guy had what was called uh, Pradia syndrome. Uh, Jace, his name was Joseph Merrick, and he actually was exploited for a while by P.T. Barnum, but was rescued by a doctor. Mm. And then lived the rest of his life in um in a hospital being um, taken care of by people. Uh, the weird, freaky thing about him, besides like how he looked and everything, was that his um his head was so heavy that it dislocated his neck, and that's how he died. Because it's a growth, and the thing with this growth, dude, is that you get it you know, get it at birth, but it doesn't show for like ten years, and you don't know you have it, especially back then. There was no like test to know whether you had it. So up until he was about like nine or ten, he looked like a normal kid. And then all of a sudden, these deformations started growing. Do you think those people, everybody we put on that sh on our list, they would have made money without P.T. Barnum? No, no, and that's the argument. They would have dumped them, huh? Yeah, that's the argument. There is that you know this guy's exploiting people, but these people are saying, oh, we were, but we were celebrities. You know, like there were some people who pro were exploited, like. The fucking old black lady who was put up yes. as George Washington. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that's a slave. And that the, was and horrible. The albinos. She didn't get. She didn't get the albinos, dude. But there were some people like the the two headed Asian guy, and again had babies, had like twenty seven kids, dude. They were both married to different chicks. Yeah, dude. And I, was that is that the case? I don't know. But oh my god, those guys are getting laid, dude. And they fucking had babies, and they had actually the whole reason why they went to P.T. Barnum is because we need them, they need to make money so they could put their kids through school. Wow. I don't know if it was 20 times, but it was like a, it's a double digit. It's either 12 or 27 or some shit like that, dude. But, I mean, fuck, bro. Like, you don't even have a, there's like guys out there that don't even have a fucking girlfriend. Did you know that when the Ringling Brothers bought P.T. Barnum and Bailey Circus, the... Depression started right away. Oh, really? Yeah, and then they 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 they, they didn't um that the that was the, when they re, when they brought together both circuses and because they, they were they have one circus when they bought them it was there was the depression right so they have they have Barnum Bailey playing one where and they had Ringling Brothers playing somewhere else 
So when the depression... Oh, that's right. They had them split yeah. on each side of the so country. So during the depression, they brought them together. And right. They, and they went on to to be together as one um, Barnum and Bailey circus. And Ring that's how brother. we saw them. Yeah, we saw them like that. Their last... I have it written down. 2017 was their last one. 2017 was their last showing. But I think their last time ever in a big top was in 1957. And after that, they were doing it in arenas. And that's where I remember seeing them at the Ogden Coliseum and seeing lions and tigers. tigers and bears, oh my. And there was bears, actually. I don't think there was seals. I'm I'm, like, that's crazy with the seals. I never even thought about that. I remember this. That. Robert Schimmel joke. I, went, I took my son to the zoo, man. I asked my I asked my, my son, asked me, how did they get the bear to ride a bicycle? Oh, man. Easy, son. They nail his 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 his, his foot to the to the bike pedal and they beat him to get it right. <laughs> yes, I remember that joke, dude. That's the first comic I ever saw live. But I I read that also the way they do it and they do this for killer whales too. Okay. The way they do, the elephants. Uh huh. Like they say, all the elephants are are listening, right? They're they're like five sharp, but there's one elephant that's that's um that's um not following in line right right so what they do is they do the same thing that they did in um full metal jacket where they let that fat fool eat a donut while the other one did push-ups so they started punishing the other the other guys and not the fat fool okay i remember so that with, ele yeah. with elephants and killer whales or any animal they're training uh -huh. they do the same way like five lines are paying attention but one is being the hard head they start beating the other lions, but not that one. Oh. And then they start starving the other lions, but not, they only feed that one. And then other lions. And then uh, they, no they, they start fucking with that one lion, bro. Bullying them. That's crazy. To get it together. And that's how they get the elephants together. No way, dude. That's insane, bro. Insane, huh? That's terrible, dog. That's fucking awful. So they follow in line. Did you see the circus when you were a kid? Yeah, man. I went to uh, when I was a, I went to one circus with my parents, my dad, and then I went to another circus when I was oh, man very little. It was like a, but I don't remember it. But I never been to Circus Soleil. I never been to Circus Vargas. What about Circus Circus? I never been to Circus Circus. You never been to Circus Circus? No. Oh, actually, you know what? I went inside Circus Circus, but it's more like like feet. Yeah, it's shitty now. But I I actually liked it. But we went. I went inside. And I play. I actually did play games, and I saw that there's a, a trapeze show. Yeah, that's dope. Also, man, when I um, when I was working at Dodger Stadium, I saw Kiss, mm -hmm. and it was called Kiss, and the circus. It was it was Kiss um, Circus something. So right. they had an actual circus during their show. Like, did they have? I'm interested in this one. Did they have the motorcycles in the big ball? Yes, I love that. Do, Do, the Psycho Circus. Psycho Circus. Did you go to that? No, I just imagined that would be there. I have that shirt. I have that shirt. And when I was a kid... Uh, Look at kids wearing Dodger shirts. I went to Circus Circus, and they had the motorcycles in a ball, and I loved that shit. I have that shirt, and I went and I was working at Dodger Stadium, and I had, when, uh, when everybody was That's fucking watching rad, Kiss, dude. I went to go see it, and the, the, there were, on, there were um, two guys inside of a hole. Instead of a cage, a round cage, and they were riding the motorcycles. So there's two cages, two round cages. There were two guys in, in each cage riding motorcycles, and there was these crazy clowns with fire. And check this out. They gave us 3D glasses. Yeah. So when Kiss played, there was smoke, and the whole show was 3D. So when oh, Gene Simmons dope. went like this, it was in your face, baby. That's pretty fucking rad, dude. There's also... um. Right now, there, there's That's there's fucking there's the, the regular circus that we know, Circus Vargas, but there's also dark circuses out there which I never been to. But like people who are who who put their body into hooks. I've been to those. People who eat yeah. glass. Yeah. People who um, a bed of nails. A bed of nails. Yeah, I've been to those. Contortionists. Yeah. Also, man, if you bought tickets for my show at the Avalon Theater, which is gonna be Netflix, the joke. It's going to be a bomb show. We're going to have a... It's going to be Felipe Esparza's freak show. Nice. I'm going to wear my top hat. I'm going to have a contortionist. I'm going to have a magician. It's going to be a wild show. We're going to have Chuck Bartel. Hell yeah. Mer also. Nice. 
It's gonna be a good show. That though. sounds fucking fun. So I've never been to you been to a Circus Soleil show? Yeah, I've been to a couple Cirque du Soleil shows. I went to go see I went to two and I went to one in Vegas. I saw the water one. I think it's Kai in Vegas. And then I saw Kai. I saw another one. I always wanted to see the Beatles one. The ones in Vegas are spectacular. <laughs> but the traveling show I saw Ovo, I hated the traveling fucking ones, dude. It was like and it's not even the um it's not even the performers that I didn't like. It was that Every time someone did just something basic, the fucking crowd would lose its mind. And I was like, I can't stand this, dude. I got to get the fuck out of here, dude. So I, me and my girlfriend left during the intermission. And that was that. But they're not, they weren't as excited. I've been to Dark Circuses, which is a really, really fucking fun show to watch if you can, if you can still make that kind of stuff. Because some people don't like that shit, dude. But they cut themselves out. Well, there's people who put their hooks in their bodies yeah, seen those. and they, they like swing from the sky. There used to be a show called Tourette's Without Regrets in Oakland and they had a lot of that stuff, dude. And it was fucking rad, like hula hoops with fire, uh, which really freaked me the fuck out one night when I was high. Um, they had like swinging from hooks type shit, dude. Um, all kinds of like kind of freak show shit. And there's this sweet guy named Jamie DeWolf who was the... Uh, the wolf announcer and he did a really good job like a circus caller man that show was wild but i've been to one where like it was in a dark room and it was like a dark magic and dark circus show and it was like a bed of nails guy it was um uh dude what's the other one we talked about oh the the sword swallower i saw sword swallower at the freak show in um coney island Oh, did you and, go to the freak yeah, show at Cody Island? Yeah, and then the girl, she started on a bed of nails. Another girl started on glass. Oh, and I saw this one girl yeah. who didn't really speak. She turned on light bulbs with her mouth. Okay, I, I'm always wondering about I always curious about that. I don't know how to do that trick, but it looked cool, bro. Did you see the glass eater? No, but I saw the shit eater in the, in my, when we were by the fucking subway. <laughs> Who fell into that? Bro, that's so. Bro, I, I don't. People who who ride the subways, which is most of the people in New York. Uh, what the guy tell you, bro? When you run into that guy, remember? Which one, dude? How hungry? Oh my! No, the I'm bleeding guy. I'm bleeding. You're talking about the. So this is the dude. I I had like the worst times in the subways. This, uh, but then one of the nights was this guy walks up. And this is. Like, I'm leaving a show, right? And as I'm leaving a show, this guy walks up to us, this homeless dude, and he's like, do uh, you guys have a buck? And I and I was the only one that looked up at him. I'm like, I don't have anything. I'm sorry. And then he kept walking, don't right? Don't be lying, though. And, and so the fucking other guys were like, you know, you, you, you're not from around here. And I was like, why? And they're like, you know, just don't talk to homeless people, bro. When you go to the subway, don't talk to homeless people. I'm like, that's kind of fucked up. But then I learned why. Because, like, I'm now on the subway platform, and this guy walks up. And he's got cuts under his elbows right here. And he's going, help, I'm bleeding. And it's dripping down off his fingers. And he's like, I'm bleeding. He goes, no, he walks up. He goes, I'm bleeding. Do you have a dollar? <laughs> and I go, nah, hey, man, you're bleeding pretty bad. I would go to a doctor. He goes, yeah, I know, man, I'm bleeding. Do you have a, do you have a dollar? And I'm like... I don't have a dollar. He's like, come on, man, give me a dollar. I'm bleeding. And I'm like, I don't have it. And like, I, I like just, I didn't know what to do. Cause I, I mean, I'm not going to punch a homeless guy on a platform that's bleeding. And so I just start to walk off. And if you know the like subway, yes. they like connect through hallways, right? Bro, for like three blocks of hallways, I could hear this guy behind I'm me. Bleeding. I'm bleeding, bro. Just give me a dollar. I'm bleeding. And I'm like, I don't have a dollar, man. I'm sorry. Leave me alone. <laughs> Dude, that, hey, bro, those people who ride those things, I, I give it up to you, bro, because the worst <laughs> people on subways are fucking crazy, bro. Bro, you'll die, bro. There's this black fool on TikTok. Yeah. They go, this is, I'm gonna just imitate his face. And like and then like I'm gonna just say Mike a corner that I know. Yo, what up, man? You, you ever thought about like catching a fade with somebody, man, man, right here on this street, right here it's called um 
Siete Maris Marisco. That this place or perfect place to catch a page. Oh, I've seen this guy before. Yeah, yeah. man, right here. Remember, we got a bunch of homeless people walking around, a bunch of essays. He does LA too. You might have a black hipster walking around, man. Oh, yeah, man. yeah. They might you you be you, you, you be ready to fight catch fight somebody in this corner. Is that true though? Are those real places that yeah, they're ghetto ass places? Okay, because I was like, but, I'm gonna go cruise to one of these. Well, places. The place in Silverly, what I'm talking about? Yeah. By the by the you know for the four car washes. Yeah. Siete Mares, there's always a crazy motherfucker walking through there. And one time there was a guy walking, bro. And he goes, oh, I wish somebody would try to fight fuck with me. I wish somebody would fuck oh, with man. me. And I told Lisa, um, when I first met her, I'll be back. I'm going to go across the street. <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, man, that's a, that's a free sock in the face right there. <laughs> yeah. That guy's asking to get socked in fuck the face. yeah, he is, dude. It's mandatory. Yeah. I'm going to pretend there, you know, pretend I'm going to be a normal guy. Doo, 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 doo. Right. And as soon as he touches me, kapow. Boom. Boom. Yeah. I, but I wish somebody would, he was like, I wish somebody would fuck with me. Yeah, dude. All loud, but there was nobody in that street. Nobody's bro. there, everybody yeah. Was, everybody with money was in this street. Right. Eating tacos. You kind of learn to avoid that, dude. Avoid it, bro. Yeah, like I was, uh, we went to the, the Brea Tar Pits yesterday. And when we were walking, there was a guy dressed like, he was like in tight shorts, super tight shorts, and a nice like ha uh, like, like he looked gay, bro. He had like a fucking a uh, fluorescent top, and he had a fucking Joker face on. He had like green hair dyed. Oh, got, I know that guy, bro. He trips outside the Ross dress, Ross dress for less. Yes, dude. I think I've seen him there too. Yeah. Cause it's, that's not too far from there, and he has a skateboard. Western and Hollywood, I don't care. I don't. I don't care what they put there. It's always dirty. Bro, that guy was losing his mind, dude. That shit was crazy, dude. And I bet I was with my girlfriend. I'm like, we're just gonna cross the street because, like, in my, cause I'm the same way, bro. That dude be like, fuck with me, right? And I'd be like, all right, that's a free punch in the face right there. So yeah, I had to walk across the street. It was interesting though. You know what I, I found though? Um, uh, before we break off, is uh, we went to the tar pits yesterday. And you know how there's tar in the tar pits and yeah. everything? Like, if you don't know what La Brea Tar Pits is, it's like a natural tar pit that's been there for millions, probably billions of dinosaurs years. Dinosaurs fell in there, Yeah, supposedly. dinosaurs and alevins. It's not so just subjected to the park, bro. Like, we were walking across the street. We parked, like, almost a block. You threw a rock in there, see if it's real? Bro, you, it's real, dude, because I'll tell you how it's real. We were walking down a block how and a half. How deep is it, you think? It's fucking deep, dude. Well, it comes from the center of the earth. And, so that's the dinosaurs And what happened, this is what I found out yesterday, is a series of earthquakes because that's where a bunch of faults meet up, a bunch of fault lines. So a bunch of earthquakes cause cracks in the earth to let this like oil bubble up that's got methane gas in yeah. it. And that's what you smell when you when you go by the Bray of Tarpons, you can smell the tar. But the craziest thing, and I have it on my, um, I'll put it on my stories again today, uh, if you guys want to check it out, but a, like almost a, a block away, is a is tar pulling up under a building, and you can see the building breaking away. Like, it's like right, dude. It's crazy, bro. It's right across the street from the tar pits, and it's like a pool. And then we, me and my girlfriend, walked around a couple blocks, and we could find tar deposits. Damn, all up and down the street, dude. And where the streets are sinking in, there's like a bridge right there. Yeah, no, go one more over, one more oh, over. One. That's it. That's it. Oh, yeah, uh, okay. I'll I'll put it. I'll I'll re put it up. That's it right there. That's it. They have real tar for the tar pits. Yeah, look at that, bro. That's tar on the building across, and that building sinking into the ground. Like we could, you could see it, dude. That shit is crazy to me, dude. And then that's a uh, actual like little um, hole in the middle of the tar pit. Like they, they they just blocked off and there's it's dude it, it, that place is fascinating crazy like man. we used to have camels and lions and huge wolves and like bears that are like 12, 13 feet tall that lived here like a hundred two a thousand like a hundred twenty thousand years ago which is not that long like it, we existed with these things saber tooth tigers like fuck bro. That place is rad. Sorry, I didn't mean to go off. But All we have is cougars hiking in the mountains. Now that's it, bro. History for Fools. Where are you going to be at next? Uh, catch me Wednesday. Pause for a calendar check. Uh, catch me at the LBC Laugh Factory March 13th and March 20th. 
Hot Dates in Hollywood. Do you have a show with Paul Rodriguez? Yeah, that's um, Long Beach Laugh Factory on the 13th. Oh. Um, Paul Rodriguez's show, Spanglish. And then I'll be with Felipe um, on the 29th and 30th in San Luis Obispo in Santa Barbara. Also, man, check me out on the Adam Corolla podcast. I did an episode on that. Also, I'm going to be on The Fighter and the Kid with Brandon Schaub yeah, yeah. and Brian Callen. So look out for those. History for Fools. So ne- before we go on, um, next week, what do you want to talk about? History for what? Bro, Gangs of New York? We what? talked about this. So we're going to take Gangs of New York, the movie. And we're going gonna- to gonna do actual Gangs okay. of New York and see how close they were to each other in accuracy. Yes. Go check out. Go watch Gangs of New York, the movie. And then... After that, go into a rabbit hole about the real gangs in New York, and we're going to talk about those gangs. I can't wait for that one, the dude. five points, baby. The, Hell yeah, dude. The dead rabbits. And the, what's the other guys called? The um the Americans. The Americans. Damn. Also, we should do one about the Titanic to see um, real Titanic or fake Titanic, maybe. I think I like that one. It, oh, that's an, another suggest thing I would like suggestions on is real movies versus real situations. History of Soul Food. History of Soul Food's a good one. Um, what else did we talk about? Oh, the wrestling. Pro wrestling. wrestling yeah. Wrestling's, wrestling's so big. It's going to be so big. Yeah, that one's going to be a big one. Because there's a Mexican wrestling. You should do American wrestling. Yeah, okay. and Okay, that's good. I'll do American. You do Mexican? No, we'll just do American. Oh, we'll just do American. Okay. Like, like, yeah, man. Like WWF, WWE. Right. AWA, KKK, all of them. Okay. <laughs> History for Fools. What's up, everybody? Um, you still at the improv? Yeah, I'm still working at the improv. You guys want to see me? Come by. Say hi. I love it when people come up. Sometimes, bro, I'll be like just checking people in. And this, I'm just doing a doorman job there. I'm just checking wristbands. And every once in a while, someone will come in and go, you're on. I love your show, bro. History for Fools. And I really appreciate that, you guys. Whenever someone tells me, because I love doing this show, I love doing the work in it, is really probably the main thing that I love doing right now the most. So uh, definitely the feedback is appreciated. Come see me. Say hi. Also, man, there also is there is an African American circus. It's called the the Universal Black Circus. Go check that out, man. Okay. Yeah, man. History for fools. Picture.